You can feel the electricity wow. running through this arena. This is going to be some battle. One-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano. Being driven through a table, not my idea of a good time. But sure oh, is going to be fun to watch. Oof! What a stomp! Good grief! Harsh impact. Wow. Elbow. Uh -oh. It shouldn't be a shock that the Dudley boys were involved in one of the most intense tables matches we've seen in recent memory. At the 2015 TLC event, the Dudleys called on their extreme brothers Tommy Dreamer and Rhino to battle the Wyatt family in an eight-man elimination tables match. People were flying everywhere that night, and in classic ECW fashion, so were the trash cans and kendo sticks. Oh, continuing to punish them. The match in 2015's TLC event with the Dudleys, Tommy Dreamer and Rhino versus the Wyatts, was chaos from this second All Eight Superstars in the ring. Ron Strowman was awesome in his destruction of all four members of Team Extreme, but the ECW originals kept. She might have it. Oh man, she's oh. rolling. Look at this. Moon salt. That was beautiful. Victory is on the horizon. So incredibly devastating. You want to talk about WWE Hall of Famers taking things to the extreme? The first time many fans saw somebody put through a table was in 1984. Randy Macho Man Savage drove Ricky Morton of the Rock and Roll Express through a table with a pile driver at the Mid-South Coliseum. She's looking at it. Corey, I remember seeing photos of that horrible scene in Wrestling Magazine. Ooh. Got every ounce of that one. This could be over. Through Kofi Kingston's career, the exciting superstar has competed in several types of WWE matchups. It didn't take long for Kofi to get comfortable in the tables match environment. At 2011's TLC event, Kingston took on the Celtic warrior Sheamus in a tables match for the United States Championship. Kofi was impressive in the match as he combined defense with his unbelievable high-flying assault. Leg drop! Byron, you spoke about Kofi Kingston's tables match against Sheamus at 2011's TLC event. Some people feel that match was one of the turning points for Kingston. That night, Kofi's usual fun-loving nature took a backseat to a more focused and offensively aggressive competitor. Kofi Kingston's focus was leaving TLC the new United States champion. And that approach paid up. Going high risk. Split! This might be it! Oh my! This one's over, guys! And executed with such amazing grace. You gotta believe this one's over. Oh, what's this gonna be? Uh oh. Oh, so ruthless. Now that's how you use a table to your advantage. What a splash! Warm up the bus. This one is over. Salt. She what a clothesline! Ouch! Nice. Shut it down. Go in. Oh, the the features clean off your face. I knew it was only a matter of time. We're looking at complete domination here. Meal. No 
Oh, she's too quick for her. Beautiful technique. Here we go a second time. Splash! Massive. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Oh, uh, this is dangerous right here. No way she can survive this, can she? Watch out! Ooh, right in the face! Destroyed! And it's reversed. Irish whip! When she gets in attack mode, look out! Oh, so ruthless! Now that's how you use a table to your advantage. Oh, so ruthless! Now that's how you use a table to your advantage. Oh! Through the table! She's back. Sends her opponent right through the table. This one, folks, is over. Let's take another look at these women in action. Oh, I can't believe this. Man, this was great. Look at her go. And that's exactly how she wanted to end this thing. Here is your winner, the Phantom, Katsuyori Yamashita. And it looks like that table shattered into hundreds of little pieces. I got a feeling we're going to be talking about her for a long time to come. We may be in New Orleans tonight, but I assure you there was nothing easy about that win right there.